is it allowed to not to marry and is it something like against the sunnah and against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no this is not a sin to if you do not want to marry you can marry you have an option but let's look at the life of the all the messengers that came from Allah why did Allah has created Hawa al Islam what was the purpose of of Hawa, Hawa al Islam the you know when Adam al Islam was created he was living a life alone by himself but then he feel like boring and he does not have anyone to talk so once he was sleeping and when he woke up the next morning he saw uh, another person next to him was Hawa alayhi salam so Adam alayhi salam asked Allah like who is this human who is this human then Allah replied I have created your opposite sex so you can have a good friendship with her like in the Quran Allah say let us go so you can feel comfortable with your friend you can talk to her you can be friend with her live a beautiful life as a good couple so this is the very best example why did Allah created the man and the woman so they can get along so the generations can move on so now by looking at all the, the messengers for example if just take an example if any of the, of the messenger that came before the Prophet what if they decide okay we are messengers we're going to spend our life in Dawah work and we're going to spend our time in preaching if they wouldn't have married they wouldn't have any children if they wouldn't have any children how would that another messengers would come like for example if Abraham Islam married to Hajar Islam and Sarah Islam on the Hajar Islam all the generations came and the messenger from Hajar Islam was Ismail Islam from Ismail Islam up to the generation was kept moving and the final messenger that appeared from the side of the Hajar Islam was the Prophet by looking at the other side Sarah al -Islam. from her side there's so many messengers came just imagine what if Ibrahim al would think like you know I'm the messenger and I'm just going to do the preaching and I will not marry how would the generations will be keep moving on so this is the the purpose of having the partner in your life because of your wife your partner you have a children this is the the purpose of life how you want to live a life but the purpose was that as Allah says so this is the test for every human being if if Allah does not have not created Hawa al Islam the generations would have moved on now here's the question is it a sin not to marry then if you think you do not want to marry then the purpose of a woman is useless because Allah created a human being and your opposite sex and Allah has connected two of them whatever is being tested for them so this is the purpose of creating a woman by not marrying it does not fulfill the purpose why Allah created the woman or the man now is it a sin not to marry maybe or maybe not but it, it's not a sin because if you might have a medical issue or you have some other problems you don't want to marry you have an option not to marry but there should be any positive reason that you do not want to marry but this is the purpose of creating a man for the woman and Allah created the woman for man so this is the purpose and 
all the, the messengers that came to the earth, all of them was Mary. The, the biggest example of our own beloved Prophet How many wives does he have? And from their generations, it is keep moving on. That the Prophet showed us he did everything in his life. He did ibadah and he fulfilled the obligations towards his neighbors, his friends, his family, his wife. So he is the best role model for us. He showed us how to live with your wife. He showed us how to live with your husband. He showed us how to be, be with your neighbors, with your friends, with the children, with other creations of Allah. He is the best role model for us to learn from him. So it's a pointless by saying that hey, I do not want to marry, I want to do a lot of ibadah, I want to do this, I want to do that, so I have no time. So that does not fulfill the requirement of the sunnah. By marrying is the sunnah. And also us fulfills the, the purpose of why Allah created your partner. So you can have a generations. But for at the same time, if you have some medical issues, and you have some other serious issues, you do not want to marry, you are being waived from there. But this is the purpose why Allah created the man, why Allah created a woman. And we have to learn, if we are living a life and if we love the Prophet then we have to look at, at his life. He married, he had a wife, he completed his rights towards all the wives. And also he fulfilled his rights with his friends, with neighbors, with the children. He showed us how to live a life. So this is the purpose of creating your partner.